All right, so listen, it's a little early, May 1st. This launches May 3rd. May We're day. filming this May 1st. Yeah. Got in, got a little got a little early look, paid our hard-earned money uh, yeah. to actually purchase this, the new Buffalo Ranch Chicken Sandwich from Popeyes. We will be launching it today. You're seeing it, yeah. power of the internet, on May 3rd. But check it out, dripping with goodness. We are gonna knock this out. I can't, oh, I can't see. Can you see yes. it? Yeah. I can't see. Money it. shot. I'm, be I'm behind it. I'm behind Money it. Money shot. Beep bitty boat. Nothing left to do but cue the intro. What is up, everyone? It is the endorsement, and it is time for another review. This is where I try something and tell you if. You should like it or not. I can be very persuasive. Popeyes dropping a new version of their infamous. Is that the right way? Infamous or famous? One of the two. I think famous is a good thing. Infamous is your famous for like being, uh, you know, yeah, like, like, the like, 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 Al Capone, like Al Capone was infamous. Yeah. Okay. So this is the famous, their famous yeah. uh, chicken sandwich with a twist. Buffalo Ranch. They have a uh, Buffalo Ranch sauce. I yeah. see uh, Lupe already kind of showed you. Yeah. Let me get you a look right there. It is their uh, filet with uh, one pickle, we've determined. <laughs> we got one pickle. We did look under the hood for a second because I was really, really <laughs> interested in it. Yeah, but there you go. And it is a Buffalo Ranch sauce. We actually also yeah. got a... Um, right here, bibbidi boop. Bibbidi boop. We got this up on the, on the side, side here. Uh, so we can do a little dip dip. Uh, so let's go. Let's get into it and take a bite. Here we go. All right, so we are going to get into this. Are you ready? I am. All right. Real quick, though. Yeah. Famous, but famous place. Yeah. But I was just thinking about this. First of all, cheers. Cheers. The locations of Popeyes are oh, infamous. They are infamous. Down the hatch. All right. Here we go. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh. Juicy. I'm not. I'm not getting a dryness here, which is already a plus. Mine's not as thick as yours. Pause. Mm -hmm. I could use more sauce. I'm glad we have more sauce. We did get some sauce. Here you go, buddy. Thank you. I'm gonna put a little extra on the next bite. Yeah. There we go. So I am getting this that is... that that traditional Popeyes crunch. Sure. With the light batter that they use. Very nice and airy. Bringing me home to Louisiana. But I will say, I don't know about you. Hold on, let me take another bite before I actually say it. I got more sauce there. I'm so used to dipping all my food in buffalo and ranch. Mm-hmm. I'm just tasting more buffalo than ranch. And I'm missing that creamy, that creamy milkiness of the ranch. Yeah, I think we discussed when we first found out uh, yeah. about this sandwich last week. We were kind of talking how we thought they were going to do this. And um, I was hoping they were going to drench this in buffalo and then put the ranch yes. on top. So you have the drenched uh, filet with the ranch. Now it's just like a proprietary uh, sauce that I guess they made. We saw them in a unmarked squirt bottle. <laughs> It was very unmarked, secret, uh, secret sauce style. Secret sauce style. And um, I mean, it so does, it's a mixture. It does have a really cool, I don't know if I, it yeah. does really have a really cool color to it though. You know? I mean, it, it looks a, like a little unorthodox. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's bright and vibrant. I can get it. So I think why with all the uh, orange, with that bright orange, I think it does have a predominant, uh, predominant, predominant yeah. uh, buffalo flavor. Yeah. My takeaway from this is if you guys really want a little more ranch, get a side of ranch. Side of ranch. And ask them for, this tastes so much better. This was a power move. Extra sauce, guys, always. Yeah. Mm. And you do, uh-oh. You, you do need, I think that extra pickle would have brought it home. Huh. That One you're pickle. supposed to get. I'm pretty sure it was always two. At least. Huh. But we did um, 
we were listening to the staff basically talking about how to make it right because it was a little early and um she basically just said what she said <laughs> it's like a regular chicken sandwich but well, without mayo, without the mayo with add, the, add the sauce <laughs> and as a consumer you're like hey that's it they pulled the curtain like uh yeah. wizard of oz and we heard all about it but um it's not a very good morning over in this uh, local Popeyes. Listen, we you gotta yeah. A lot That's going okay. On. They need a little hug. So listen, I mean, by the way, we didn't even get to the best part. Price four ninety nine. Mm. Four ninety nine. I was so nervous that they were gonna try to do a five ninety nine, six ninety nine situation here. Are you listening? Are you listening, Panera? Oh. You know what's crazy about Panera? Mm. We've been seeing so many commercials. They're trying to push. They're making so much money on the $12 sandwiches off of Americans, our hard-earned money, mm -hmm. that they're promoting They're promoting more sales of it. Wow. I saw a commercial last night on TV. I never see a Panera commercial. What is it? I always heard you can tell me if you've heard different yeah i always heard that if you see a commercial for an upcoming movie so many times the movie might have the possibility of bombing so they're hitting you with it like to get as many people to go see it Here's could a, that be yes. the panera bread thing where they're like this is not doing so well let's show it to you more uh, it could yeah okay. but there could be so much profit in it that they're like hey we have extra pesos to use but you're right about the movie thing little tidbit for you guys if you see a movie and you see a trailer and then you see multiple different versions of that trailer, that mm. means that movie sucks. Right, I've heard that. Yeah, you you want to see it one one and done. So I don't. Uh, for, I mean, for five bucks, I mean, the, I do like the sauce because it's different, but yeah. I do love their Bayou sauce here. Yeah, it's so good. It's so good. Um, yeah, I like it. I wish mine was a little thicker. Like I said. You know, one part of it, one half of it was really thin. Yeah. I'm getting into the thicker part right now, as you can see. Uh, your uh, yeah, typical. You want to do, do one more dip in there no, before okay I go ham? Right All right, because I'm going. Sure. I'm making it saucy. All right, so if I had to give this a rating, um, one to 100. Huh. I mean, I enjoy the price. I enjoy Popeye's yeah. chicken sandwiches. Mine, I'm going off what I got. Like I said, a little thin. Um, well, knock it out. <laughs> um... Mm. It's good, and I like the sauce. I just wish they did it the way we thought they were gonna do it. Douse it, mm. douse it in the buffalo, and then put the ranch on. Yeah. Uh, but the way I got it here, um, solid eighty. I think we're saying, thinking the same number. I'm at eighty-seven. I'm at eighty-seven. If you watch the channel enough, eighty-five is nice. Couple notches above, you give it a little thicker and a little more sauce. I mean, we thought ahead. We're professionals. Mm -hmm. uh, it's up in that ninety mark. Uh, that's my two cents. Yep, absolutely. We're going to agree. Second time in a row, brother. Great number. Extra pickle. More oh, sauce. I forgot. Extra and that pickle. was another thing we were talking about Camilla with, right? We're like, I wonder if maybe they're doing a dry buffalo rub yep. with ranch on it. But this makes sense economically for the staff. Sure. Just sauce it up, ship it. So same uh, thing. And I agree. This could be in the 90s if it had more sauce and if it had more pickles. I didn't have the problem that I think I got I got lucky on the draw with with, with the with the breast size, but yeah. that, that, that that's my two cents. All right, there we go. Uh, another review in the books. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, please do not forget to check us out on Instagram and Twitter. That is social media, getting the word of both of our channels out to the masses. Uh, and I mean, we've done enough um, collaborations mm -hmm. this past week. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you don't know, now you know. Lupe, Rodi Foodie, all the information will be below. We're double filming. So he's going to be launching yeah. this video uh, also on his channel. And, um, and I, yeah. am, I am prettier than Camilla. Ooh. Put that in the comments. That might... <laughs> I just I just threw a, a, a flashbang in the room. It's like a firestorm <laughs> is going to happen. All right. Thank you yeah. so much for joining us. Uh, we got this, like I said, a little bit early, and uh, you're seeing it on the third, but uh, sometimes yeah. that's the way the, the uh, stone yeah. rolls. Yeah. No. The stone rolls? I. It, it sounds like you're a little stoned here, I'm, sir. You sure I'm the, rolling. You're stoning. I'm sure this isn't 420. <laughs> all right. Thank you all for joining us, and we'll see you soon with some more reviews. Bye.